So welcome back to another uh, painting demonstration video. Today we're going to be using this um, permanent black marker pen. I've got a very small uh, flat brush, medium sized flat brush and a larger size flat brush. So we're just going to use these so that's going to kind of restrict this in a way so it'll be fun to see what happens. It's just an experimentation and along with these tools We've got our Buckingford um, sketch paper, which looks like this. And I've done a few sketches, watercolour sketches in here. They look like that, so I'm going to be putting the third one in. And then I've got my homemade paint. So any, any of you guys that have uh, been subscribing or looking at my channel will know the journey that I did a couple of years ago in creating these paints and uh, an update on how they've fared. And you can see, uh, three years down the line now, they're absolutely fine. So I'm gonna get those out again, so looking forward to that. So today's beginner's um, easy way to tackle people and um, buildings. So I'm just gonna quickly pop in, rough idea of a horizon. So we're gonna have a go at some buildings and uh, people, easy buildings, easy people. As you can see, I've just quickly drawn in a horizon and uh, just gonna dot in a few heads. Heads are interesting because we need to make sure that they're kind of oval in a way. I'm gonna keep this really simple. We're just gonna have, have three in here. So, that's that bit, the rest of it, I'm gonna kind of um, paint. We'll have these people sort of walking towards us. We'll, we'll fill in the rest. There we go. As we go along, in terms of, of buildings, I kind of foresee a, a walkway coming in, in towards these guys. I'll probably going beyond them. Um, and we'll pop in a suggestion of a few buildings here really quickly. It was coming down. We'll fill the details in in a little while. And the same on this side. So we'll keep the construction quite straightforward. Keep it quite loose. Pop in things like windows and all of that sort of stuff as we go along. I'm making this up out of my head. It's something that I do sometimes. Um, those guys seem incredibly large for the buildings, if you notice. Uh, which ain't brilliant. So maybe these are small buildings. Just joking, no, they're not small buildings. to adjust and sort this out because these these here is really not right they're like giants only so we might need to um, adapt that and change that and actually turn that into some buildings this happens now and again guys but um, you just stick with it and uh, I could restart this and uh, we could actually have a look at something totally new and different but Let's have fun with it and experiment. So there's the first bit of quick drawing. So what I'm gonna do is pop in a suggestion of a few different shapes in here, like church domes and things. We're gonna change this now. Quick change of plan, that isn't gonna work. But what will work are characters that are more in scale and we'll keep them as simple as we can. So remember the oval for the heads. It's always good to keep characters quite close together as well if you've got them in pairs and maybe sometimes a three. 
Uh, we're going to have these guys kind of walking down towards us. It's a busy street scene. And it's good to sort of like practice away really with these. So we can um, just get our eye in. We'll put in a couple of harder shapes, but generally that's kind of it. Now we need the, the figures to get bigger as they're coming in closer. Don't really want them all in a big long line. Have a darker one there. And we need to think about a focal point. Well, I want the eye to go the lightest light and the darkest dark. Normally in this zone or in this zone. And we'll pop in a kind of bigger figure against the, the light there. coming together a bit more now. The suggestion of some figures way back. Let's just have another one over here. Someone walk in there. Next to someone else slightly lean their head in. And this character here will give them a bag. on the drawing and then we'll get into the painting. So I'm going to use this large uh, number 12 flat brush and away we go. Just going to slightly wet the paper in here, down here, just get a touch of this sort of grey mixture we've already got on the palette and just pop that in, bring that across on the road. That will do that. go into some of these characters here. Light like dark, light like dark. So I'm using up some of this. I'm going to go into a slightly smaller flat brush. This is a number eight. Sort out here. Take some of this blue mixture. Sky and run down and do a something. There we go. That'll just blend and bleed in there. Um, we're going to go a bit warmer. Just going straight in to these warmer colours. Flat brushes are great. You can see the the break up there the dryness coming through and it gives the effect of sort of a brick so that's quite nice. Get that in there. Going with this of a sienna mixture as well. Just here kind of quite neat and this paint is actually still quite sticky three years on. That's quite remarkable. And just go roughly around the figures here. Kind of start to Join up some of these shapes. There's a bit of water in there. Um, can I go even darker here with this? Some of this darker, almost Payne's grey colour. Just some uh, roof in there. We go even darker. There we go. It's quite nice. We could pop in a few windows. Just using this, the edge of this um, flat brush. This one will blur in a little bit.
for the finer flat brush, the small one here. It's like a number one, I think. Mix up the colour of some of these windows. I'll suggest some way back here. Just dot these in. Just fade away. Don't really need to be too detailed at all. So we'll get a, a light, dark, light, dark kind of effect going on. Put them in kind of sunshine at the back. The nice thing about these permanent marker pens underneath is that they're not going to blur, so that the black of these is going to kind of shine through as we go along. Characters that were originally there completely forgotten now, aren't they? They're gone, they faded away. So, we want the eye to go around here, so we're going to put in the lightest light, darkest dark. Uh, we'll put in some dark in here with this character. Keep the light next to it. Just pull in some warmer colour in here, just on this body of that one. Um, cool colour here. It's kind of core as we go back. But we don't need to worry too much about the detail at all, this is just an impression of the scene, so no worries with that. And we'll just take that one, just colour that in, take the white away from there because we don't want the eye to be going there, we want the eye to come here, don't we, to the lightest light and the darkest dark, and with that in mind, just need to design this around here a little bit more to give it a bit more impact just here and we're going there now we've got this light here we could leave most of that but we will kind of design a little shadow color in here using this blue and brown really we'll just take that away from that a little bit Another one in there. And then if we think about shadows and where the light's coming from, I haven't really talked about the source of light, which we ought to. And it's always good to have uh, shadows that bring things to life a bit. So let's just mix up some shadow colour. And it looks as if we can have them come across here so they come off of their feet. ones further away so they can be lighter just suggest and we don't need to worry too much about detail and again we'll have a touch of the old shadow color coming off here let's go for the medium sized flat brush pop this in shadow here Just going to make it a bit warmer and a bit darker down down here. Um, can bleed off in there. That will send everything else back. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. Just dot in a few there. Put in a strange one there. One more, just for luck. Over here. I 
and that's it done just a quick little study of some figures some buildings just using flat brushes um, and a marker pen hope you enjoyed that just a quick demo what you can do a little bit of experimentation take care subscribe remember to uh, enliven that notification bell if you want to get regular content I'm trying to upload now at least weekly um, and let's see if we can get to a thousand subscribers I'm around about getting close to 900 now so it would be nice so thanks again guys take care and happy painting so the final thing to do then is to take off the tape and see what we have underneath this is always the exciting part because we end up with a with a frame a kind of mount around the painting very sticky tape this one turned out pretty good um, as a little quick study very different to the other two studies that I've done in this sketchbook uh, this one here of a sort of harbour scene in France Evian and this one at Castle Lake in Norfolk uh, some winter trees but yeah that, that works out nicely and uh, hope you enjoyed that catch you next time let's just have a quick close up of it Thank you very much.